The new Lordstown Energy Center can make electricity to power 850,000 homes. It went online earlier this month, and today we got a look inside. All of that energy is produced with the help of just 21 people. First News reporter Alexis Walters explains its importance to Lordstown and the region. The Lordstown Energy Center has been up and running now for a few weeks, so they invited local leaders of the community to come out and see what it's all about. Remember when I talked about the Hersing? That's this thing here. Today, the Lordstown Mayor, Councilman, Regional Chamber members, and school leaders received a crash course in the inner workings of a natural gas power plant. I know they've been up and running for a couple weeks, and it is a very impressive facility. As an educator, you just look around thinking, how can my, my students work here one day? It sits on just 16 acres of land, uses the newest power plant technology to generate almost 1,000 megawatts of energy, and recycles much of its own emissions into more energy using a steam generator. I think when you think of a power plant, you're thinking, you know, acres and acres. This is a very small footprint. The footprint they do hope to leave is on the local economy and community. Whether it's more plants and more economic impact or just the idea of science and technology and ins inspire folks that um, maybe see this report. The schools have already received one and a half million dollars and a new soccer field from the plant. Now that they're in operation, we'll start getting million dollar payments, which we built into our forecast. Local trade workers built the facility and are now both running and maintaining it. All the small businesses are happy they're here because with General Motors going down, uh, you know, some of them could have to possibly shut their doors, but due to the labor coming in, it makes a big difference for the whole community. With the jobs and money this plant's producing, Mayor Hill tells me a second possible plant isn't too far off. Discussions going on between the developer and the investors and others uh, here about siting it here in Lordstown. We hope a high-tech facility like this, if they're able to get a second one, would be huge for our area. As for a second power plant, local leaders tell me that they hope to break ground here in Lordstown over the next several years with more advanced systems like this one. In Lordstown, Alexis Walters, WKBN 27 First News.